Well, good morning and welcome to all of you. Delighted to see you here this morning. Isn't it wonderful to see the sunshine coming through our windows today? It's a wonderful day. So glad that you are here. We have a few things that are going on as we continue to move through Lent, including this Tuesday, our final, uh, is it, I'm sorry, it's Thursday, isn't it? Thursday, our final um, conversation with uh, with our neighbors at Beth Haba, that will be that conversation will be here, yes. led by us. Yes. Um, sorry, I'm going to actually not be there, so <laughs> I can't remember all the details. But anyway, you should come to that, even if you have not been able to come to uh, to any of the others. Each one of the the uh, conversations has been standalone. It's a wonderful thing that we're doing. On Wednesday night, we'll have dinner as usual and also a gathering of women to talk about womankind. Womankind is celebrating its 20th year. And while it needed to go on hiatus for a little while during the recent unpleasantness, we are now uh, back in action and hoping to, um, to be able to move into 2026 with a big program and of course a couple of events that we are doing this year in 2024. So please come if you can for that conversation on Wednesday night. And then next Sunday um, between the services we will have a forum in Valentine Hall featuring our endowment board. Um, at our annual meeting last Sunday, you did hear from Helen Kemp uh, a short presentation on the endowment board, but lots of people have questions about, well, what is an endowment? Why does a church even have an endowment? What does ours do? All of that sort of thing. So next week, between the services, you'll have an opportunity to hear more about that. So I hope that you can, can do that as you're able. Finally, the big news of today, thanks to all of you, is that our steepleometer is now full. We have met our, our goal for our annual giving, and thanks to all of you. We appreciate all of you who have made a pledge to invest in the mission and ministry of this parish in this time and place. And also, as George Booth, our treasurer, said, you can give more than your pledge. <laughs> Again, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. 